and sugars. So we're just going to go ahead and jump on right into this eye. And I'm pulling out my Jackie Aina palette with Anastasia. And I'm actually first going into Ginger. And I'm just going to buff that out. Um, and then I dipped into Edges um, to deepen up my transition shade. And normally you want to go in sushin motion, like back and forth windshield, back and forth windshield, back and forth windshield. And thank y'all so much for watching. We are at 100 subscribers. I got 100 sugars. I'm so excited. Um, I got ahead of myself. What did I say, y'all? We was in what? Lord. What is this? Ginger. No, this edges. And now we're in the credit. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, I got excited. So, yeah, now we're in credit. And we're just going to buff that in the crease and a little over the lid. Um, just so it can blend out. Pertiful. And y'all, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So honestly, I'm just trying to build up my definition in my crease again. So the order was just to go back and this is all still in the Jackie Aina palette. We went into ginger, then edges, then credit. And now we're still working credit back and forth into the crease to give definition and to kind of blend it out. I don't, I didn't want it too harsh because it was supposed to be a soft, pretty matte look. And yeah, it takes a lot of blending because blending is key. So now, of course, we got to cut the crease. I am using my P. Louise base. I believe this is number three. No, this may be, this is number four. Yeah, because I gave number three away. This is definitely number four. So we just want to make sure um, we lay the base down where we want the lid shadow to be. Um, so y'all know cutting the crease is not my ministry, but we're getting better at the shape. It never seems to go right. One eye always performs like she know what she's doing. She's here to perform. And the other one just be like, girl, I'm tired. I'm here so I'm get fine. So we still working on it. But, you know, we, we just got to take it for what we can. Um, and go for what we know because yeah so I'm going back to fix the other eye because clearly one eye it can't be that mismatched and it was bad um, and then I'm just going to pat it dry with my 9am brush from the crayon case and so then I'm going back into credit and with credit i'm going to buff that into the crease um sorry the crease the outer v the outer v the outer part of my eye y'all y'all know what i'm trying to say lord help me um we're just gonna blend that in no more product on the brush i'm just pushing it towards the inside of my eye so i can get that gradient effect because my next color is going to be pretty light so yeah so then for this shade i went into my matte book and it was the really light it's one of the bigger circles but it was the lighter brown shade um because i wanted it to kind of look like almost like off white if that makes sense it's just gonna be real soft and pretty and yeah i'm taking the same a, a fluffy brush not a packing brush a fluffy brush and i'm just patting it on and blending it out at the same time and then i went into the white in the matte book and i focused that in my inner corner um and i'm going to blend that into the lighter brown or the beige brown should i say beige right yeah we're gonna call it beige in the matte book and i'm just trying to again make the white give me that natural matte natural that highlight in the middle and now i'm just defining my crease with a pencil brush using credit again and just trying to make sure everything looks soft and pretty soft and pretty because that was the goal i 
I just wanted to take pictures. This was the day actually before my birthday. Um, so I just wanted to take pictures outside. It was nice outside. I was off work. So why not? So now I'm just going back into the beige color from the matte book palette just to give me more pigment. Again, I didn't want to use a packer brush because sometimes I think with a packer brush, it gives me a patchy look and it may just be because I don't know what I'm doing, but you know. So then I'm going to use my Fenty liner um, and because I'm black and I'm going to just do my liner. Now y'all know, again, this is not my ministry either. And for whatever reason, I can't ever get it to just flow. Like I don't get how the girls with the flick of the wrist can do this and it just it just be so pretty i be struggling am i thinking too hard y'all tell me what what y'all be doing because i be struggling as you can see i mean i make it work for what it's supposed to do but who cool i just feel like i struggle so bad like what am i doing wrong either way we're here to learn together um so yeah i'm just gonna do the line on the other side one side again always comes out maybe it's because i need to warm up but one side always comes out way better than the other always never fails always and see i'm trying to i'm 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 gonna get mad because i don't know why it's not working <laughs> and trying to get them bad boys to look semi-even I don't know how y'all do it. Y'all got to teach me. But anyways, we're going to move on to the face. I added some Lily Lashes. Um, I used my Milk Hydro Grip. And then I'm using my Uoma. Is it Uoma or Uma? Um, foundation in Brown Sugar T4W. I have T4N as well. I believe this is W. Um, and I'm going to use that Morphe foundation brush. And I'm just going to blend that all out. Yeah, I really like this brush. Low key, I need to order another one. Because I've seen people use it for their contour. And I mean, y'all, it, it, it does. Oh, it's pretty. So, yeah, I might have to go ahead and, you know, get that. Um, so, yeah, so now I'm just going to blend that out with my brush. You can use a sponge if you like. It's personal preference. I go back and forth just because I just be wanting to try different things. I feel like when you get comfortable in makeup, then it gets a little boring. Now I'm gonna always give y'all a good new eye now. That <laughs> that ain't going nowhere. <laughs> but the technique may change. And then I'm going to use my Uma Beauty. This is the Bronze Venus in T2. I'm going to just focus that on the inner corner. And then I'm going to take Brown Sugar in T2. And just put that more on the outside. Down my nose. You know, the huge. My chin. My tree. Well, this time I didn't do a tree. Um, and my lip. And then I'm using the Contour Stick from Uoma, Uma. Y'all, how y'all be pronouncing it? Anyways, um, and I'm using that, and that is also in brown sugar. I tried to use um, the bronze Venus one because I thought, it, oh, it would be like redder, warmer. Yeah, it, it, it don't show up on me. Um, so I tried to use a different brush, um, just to try to mimic something that I saw. Yeah, I didn't. I, <laughs> I tried, but I just feel like it wasn't doing what it wasn't giving what it was supposed to give. Like, I don't know. It may be me. So yeah, I switched back to my usual, my little Morphe um brush. And I just went on ahead and did did what had to be done. Cause the other brush, it wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. I ain't like it. <laughs> so I quickly switched it. But, I mean, that happens. Sometimes you see somebody else do it in a different way. And you try to, you know, mimic it to see if it works for you. Every makeup technique will not work for you. And that's okay. That's why you keep what you got to get what you want to make it work for you. Um, so, yep, now I'm just blending that out. Because I don't really care for a harsh, harsh, harsh contour. Um... 
just because my face is already I mean I like that my face is a little rounder than you know it fits me for now but when she gets snatched baby you ain't gonna tell me nothing um now I'm just blending out my contour my contour my concealer um with a Morphe E20 brush And then I'm going back with the same brush I used for my contour just to make sure there's no harsh lines and everything is going together like it's actually you know my face and not separate sections it's got to be blended and then I'm going into my Fenty powder oh got a little too much got a little happy there girl um and that is in hazelnut and I'm putting that wherever concealer was did I tell you what I used on my brows I used my Fenty pencil in dark brown I ran out of my Morphe in Java devastation um so I ordered a new brush from is it Kasha Sonia Kasha I don't think it's new I just think they are redoing her brushes but anyway this was a Target um, a new powder brush I love her powder brushes I got the pink ones and I got this one and they was given a gift card so now y'all know we always we got the bronze we got the bronze it up but bronze it up we're using Coco Naughty and Mocha Mommy from Fenty um, I do Coco Naughty first and then just on my cheeks and my hairline in that area I use Mocha Mommy because Mocha Mommy is a little redder a little warmer and she gives me what I feel like a bronzer should be some people may disagree but you know to each his own especially since my hair is a little redder yeah I really like it and then I'm going to take Coco Naughty and just um I say outline my nose not necessarily contour bring my nose back how about that and then we're going into honor roll from the crayon case to just highlight on my nose I don't highlight um my cheeks or anything I just personally don't like it and then I'm gonna put a little of that highlighter in my inner corner just for a little razzle dazzle not too much not too much still gonna be soft y'all know I don't really care for too much shimmer I mean I'm not knocking nobody who does it's just not my thing I feel like matte photographs way better um, and again I was literally just going outside to take pictures so then I am lining my lips with gumbo from the crayon case I actually feel like sometimes with liquid liner, liquid liner, liquid lipstick is the best liner. And then if you just take like a brush, this is a e.l.f. packing brush that I'm blending my line out. I just think it's so pretty. I don't know. I can't remember who I saw. I know Super does it sometimes. And I want to say I've seen a makeup artist do this. And I liked it. And then we're going to use my favorite nude lipstick probably of all time that I own. And I own a lot. We're going to use the Eartha um, from Uma Beauty. Baby, she light for me alone. But with the brown liner, baby, you can't make no mistakes. So then I decided to go with the Fussy um, from Fenty Gloss on top. Because I didn't want to change the color and the cream um and honey waffle would have definitely changed the color of my lip and that's not what i really wanted to do i just really wanted to add a gloss on top i could have used the clear but who wants to do that and this is the final look my lighting changed because the sun moved there was an overcast so it looks dark but this is me same time same day ain't i cute <laughs> thank y'all bye